This video is sponsored by Wondershare PDF Element. We'll get to know about this application more on this video because it's a free and amazing software to edit PDF files on our iPad or even on our iPhones. So what is the best PDF editing software for iPhones and iPad? There is no denying that PDF Element is one of the best tools to edit PDF files on iPhones and iPad and they asked for a shout out to their application to any of my video but after using PDF Element for a little more than two days I thought this doesn't worth a shout out this worth more than that so I thought okay let's make a dedicated video about PDF Element because there are so many things that is like you have to pay so much money to get all of those features on application like adobe but pdf element is totally totally free and you get all those professional features on pdf element okay let's go inside a pdf element here you can see pdf element so there are three ways you can import pdf files on your iphone or on ipad here you can see a small plus button you have to click here and you have three options there is one for camera there is wi-fi and there is the cloud my most favorite one the cloud with the help of the camera you can shoot any photo and use ocr so if you click on the wi-fi you can see there is an address and you can go to that address and drag and drop your pdf files on your iphone or on your ipad okay let's stop these both are not my most favorite and most used one the most favorite for me is the cloud section if i click on the cloud we have icloud drive we have dropbox and we also have the box i don't use this one but wait what is the google drive okay i was also on confusion like what is google drive my all the files are in google drive so how can i access all of them it's very simple you have to click on icloud drive wait a little moment go back and after that click on this three dot click on edit sidebar and after that you have to click google drive okay and now you can see google drive on this place now you can go inside of google drive and let me open my pdf files here you can see i have some pdf files let me open one my pdf file is loading and here you can see it is totally loaded here is my pdf files if i go to this this section i can view this pdf file in two pages here you can see this pdf file is two page we have total four tools let's go to the first one so this there are the markers and here is the marker you can just do this kind of marking things you can tap and hold for a little moment you will get all these colors and you'll get to adjust the size of the tool you get to adjust the opacity of the tool that's amazing if i make the opacity a little less here you can see it's a little less red if i make the opacity to 100 percent okay now you can see it's totally red so that's how simple it is and here is the redo and undo button let me undo all of them and after that we also have the eraser if we do some kind of mistakes over here if i do this and after that i can erase with the eraser tools here you can see i can erase it totally properly easily that's how easy it is and here we have the box sections we can simply click on this and we can get other tools like the rectangle we can also get the oval we have the arrow if we use the oval we can just simply do a oval like this and after that we can to point something like this and if we click this and i can drag it to this place and i can make it smaller let me show you i can make it smaller like this okay let's do this that's fine okay that's fine that's how we can do this and not only this there are many more tools like here you can see you can also change the colors and the shapes all the things. if you want to do any kind of commentary you can also do that click on this small comment tool after that click here you can say that uh, remove this and now this will be a commentary tool i can move it to this place maybe if someone want to see what i told them to change they can just click on this and open and okay they can see your comments and here you can see the stamps we get all the stamps we get with the professional premium version of pdf element we can just click it and we can put it anywhere we want i can make it smaller i can put it over here maybe yep that's how easy it is okay the next one is the signature i can click and do a signature over here it's not mine but okay i may want to put this signature at this bottom not only over here if i want to put my signature over here i can even do that here is my signature and i can simply put my signature over here so that's how easy it is to use and now if you want to edit any text inside of this pdf element then yes you can do so here is a simple tool for you click on here and after that you can simply edit all of these things click here i can type like r o a d road side 
and done here you can see i have already edited the text so that was about it there are many more things you can do with pdf element just give it a try there is a link in the description the main thing it's totally totally free okay that is all goodbye